Hello and welcome to Sharing Your Great Practice. Now this week we're at Bayards Hill Primary School in Oxford and we're going to be finding out how they've used music to transform behaviour and achievement in the school. This is Bayards Hill Primary School's very own Glee Club. This is one of countless musical activities and opportunities that are on offer to all children. For the head teacher, music has helped to improve behaviour at school and raise attainment. The school was um, a low achieving school and it had quite a few, uh, quite a few issues to address including behaviour. It's, it's a school that serves an area of so social deprivation and the attendant problems come into school with us. Uh, and we were looking at ways of improving the school overall, the whole package that the school presented for, for the pupils. Uh, because we were fortunate enough to be on the same site as the Oxfordshire Music Service, it was an ideal opportunity with the help that they were giving us to, to introduce more and more music into the curriculum and into non-curriculum activities as well. And, and that's why we took it on. And um, we haven't regretted the decision. It's made a significant improvement and difference to the school. Over the past two to three years, the school decided to dramatically increase access to music for all, offering all year three pupils cello or violin lessons. Well, the VIP programme is covered, has been covered by Oxfordshire and by other, other means, other grants have supported that. So that, that music uh, tuition with the, with the violins has been for three years now. They start in year three as a large class um, and they all get the chance to play mainly violin and some cello. And then uh, in year four, the ones that would like to continue, they stay on. And we just try and um, give lots of performances if we can. That's what they love doing most of all. It's um, a novelty for them as well. You know, not, not many of them get the chance to, to um, learn an instrument. And the instruments are here, the school has brought in the instruments. So, yes, it's a chance that they would never have an opportunity. In year four through the play on scheme and in year five through the more play on scheme, more and more children are choosing to continue with their musical instruments. They walk around school carrying those violins and those cellos and they just look really proud of what they're doing. And they walk from their classrooms to the music service buildings and it's just a whole other aspect of their, of their learning. From foundation age to year six, all the children receive weekly music lessons from a specialist music teacher who comes in from Oxfordshire Music Service. And everything that they teach is designed around the topics the children are studying. The music service teacher works closely with the classroom teacher to make sure that what's taught links into the curriculum. We try as much as possible to do cross-curricular teaching. Um, so each term um, a year group has a topic and everything that you teach is tied in with that topic and that goes as far as PE and music and so the teachers that teach the music take the plans from the teachers and they know the topics in advance and so they can then prepare their lessons based around the topic that the year group's doing. In all my lessons um, I have members of staff teaching assistants or teachers present who get stuck in help, show enthusiasm, join in when we're singing, join in with the instrument work, help the children choose appropriate groups. We do liaise about things like the topics that they're studying. So um, the year five have been doing ancient Egypt. So when I have that information, I can go away and find songs about ancient Egypt. Um, I can style my teaching around the subject. So if we're doing uh, rhythms, rhythm work to do with words, then we can use the words and make them about ancient Egypt. It doesn't matter what the words are about. The important thing is that we're learning about rhythms and how word rhythms become lyrics when we fit them into a pattern. And so the children provided me with the information through the topic work that they'd learnt. And then together we put the words that they'd chosen into a pattern so that it became a lyric, which they could then say in rhythm, you might call it rapping, with instruments, and then we can move on after that to compose uh, tunes, melody lines as well. We might move on to that next. This cross-curricular approach has really helped to embed music in the life of the school. There's also been a huge benefit to children with special educational needs. If they find literacy very difficult, um, music 
is one of those subjects that can be accessible to all and anybody can go and sing a song, anybody can go and bang a drum, anyone can go and make music. It doesn't matter whether you're low ability, middle ability or higher ability, it's open access to everybody. For this school, music is an important part of the school's transformation. It was a risk, it was a gamble in a way. Um, however, um, it soon became apparent that the children were becoming involved. And it's the halo effect, that if children get success in one area, and they were in music, just by singing together and the, and the joy of that, then that spreads into the classroom for maths and English. And, Relax. Success breeds success. Okay, you're well, if you want to make music a more important part of your school's life, here are some tips from the teachers at Bayards Hill Primary School. First off, it's important to get expert advice from music professionals. Link into the local music service or foundations that can offer their expertise. Make sure you embed the music in the life of the school. Teach it in a cross-curricular way. And to build enthusiasm for learning an instrument, engage parents offering lots of opportunities to perform. To find out how you can take part in sharing your great practice, then visit the Teachers TV website and find the Sharing Your Great Practice page.